And so we have to know our hominids. My wife brought home this bag of walnuts the other day from Trader Joe's that opened down the street, and I looked up and I said, it's got this sentence on it. Whether you're eating them on the go or using them to complement your favorite family recipes, Poindexter walnuts, do you see the mistake? What word? You don't. It's the word compliment. It's the wrong word compliment. And yet the person who wrote this copy for the back of the, the nut package didn't know it. How did that person get the job? Look, if you would suddenly meet Queen Elizabeth walking down the street in Dallas one day, you'd say to her, oh, your majesty, your beautiful hats perfectly complement your outfit. You see, it comes from the word complete. The hats complete, the coats complete the outfit. And she would say, thank you very much for the nice compliment. It shows you the difference. But most people don't know that. Certainly the people who sell Poindexter walnuts don't. I have to fix that. Good. So, because I can't stand it. I want, to, I want to go around the world with a magic marker and fix all the mistakes I said. So another SCBWI, I cut it out of this letter, uh, invited me to speak next January. And I wrote back saying how blah, blah, blah. And she wrote back to me and she said, I, greet, I greatly appreciate your compliments about our problem. She used the wrong compliments there. It's C-O-M-P-L-I in that letter. And she's the R-A of another SCBWI branch. I will not, I crossed out her name, I won't tell you. But I'm telling you, it's, it's got to get to know these things. Of course, I greatly appreciate it. it should be compliments with an I. So I've written a lot of books on the subject, like 8-8, and I try to do it fun with riddles. What will a foot doctor do for you? And you get all three there. The kids learn it that way. Or the flip side of homonyms are homographs. And those are words that are spelled alike but pronounced it like dove and dove. So you have riddles like in the strong breeze, he can't tighten the spring of the clock. So a strong breeze is a wind. And to tighten the spring of something is to wind it, wind and wind. And if you teach it with fun and riddles and funny drawings, we can start teaching the kids the right way to use these. Now, homographs and homonyms sometimes overlap. For instance, every kid knows that this is a bass. And the kids who play musical instruments know that this is a bass fiddle. The ones who fish know that this is a what? A bass. So look at the confusion that you have here. These two words, bass and bass, are homonyms. These two words, bass and bass, are homographs. And no wonder a kid like this is totally confused by these. Now I'm going to challenge you. Are you up to a challenge?